Hi, I'm Father Dan Crosby. I'm a, a Cabochon, and it's uh, 62 years of Cabochon. And I am at St. Bonaventure's in Detroit. And that's actually where I began 62 years ago. And one of the privileges of my life was to live with Father Solanas. My first year in the order was his last year alive. So uh, it was, as I say, a great privilege. When I was in Detroit uh, as a novice in that year that Solanus was still alive, I heard many stories, we all heard many stories and believed them about his holiness and multiplication of loaves at the soup kitchen and uh, healings of the sick, and they were all marvelous. And out of our uh, experience, uh, it's like nobody's ever going to be uh, telling stories about miracles from my life. So you see, Solanus was not in my orbit. He was in a completely different orbit, I thought. Solanus was somebody that uh, would inspire you and you could tell stories about, but don't try to imitate him. He was completely beyond you. Well. That lasted for years, but I am grateful, very grateful to say, I finally got some maturity and some realization that that is not, neither one of those are at the heart of who Solanus was. They, those things, are not what made him holy. And when I came to discover more for myself what really made him holy, I can imitate that.